Your character is the know-it-all who is uh, knows all the horror movies and stuff. How do you feel about that yourself? Like, do you have a good? You know, I uh, when I first read the show, and I I was excited to be that meta in for the show, and, and that's what made me love the screen movie so much is that kind of self-referential tone and how everyone kind of lives in this world where we all know everything about pop culture and what's come before, and especially my character. And so when I got the part, I I did so much research, especially in the horror genre. And I didn't even know how much I would love horror movies until I really started watching them. It's like become this addiction. I like. <laughs> to watch like a horror movie every week uh, and that's been really fun to see it's, that's really cool yeah, yeah, that's right. Right? man it's it's so crazy because I've been watching so many um, and I, I know like classic horror movies like the original Friday the 13th is just so solid and like Halloween is like masterful but I love the Evil Dead movies I have such a crazy spot in my heart for the Evil Dead movies but like right now that's what's happening with the way that independent movies are really starting to make the, the big waves rather than the big studio horror films. It's so cool to see movies like It Follows and The Babadook feel like these insane people are get so excited. And I think it's really cool to be living in a world where that kind of stuff happens. Have you intentionally made um, your character an homage to Jamie Kennedy's Randy Meeks? Do you channel his performance I definitely, I definitely look at him and it's like, man, I... I uh, I, he was so important when I was a kid, like watching Jamie Kennedy's character. I loved, I loved the screen movies, and I loved Randy, but I also just loved Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> like, what was that? Like Malibu's Most Wanted was like that was a huge movie for me as a kid. I thought that was hilarious. Um, so yeah, I definitely do think about it a lot when I, when I do the show. But I definitely, it's it's interesting because uh, Noah's this type of guy who it feels like he's like the idealization of the way teens are these days where they're absorbing so much pop culture in so many different ways like second by second and it, it never really stops anymore you know like it's not just the movies that we watch it's like the TV and the app we download and, and the way that we use social media to connect with each other it's it's insane how much content is being created and so Noah is this guy who has ingested all of it and has such a wide knowledge of it as the pop culture geek of the show what's it like for you to be here at Comic Con are you going to bring any of that to your character? It's insane, man. It's it's so crazy. I've wanted to go to Comic Con since I was a little kid, and it, just as a fan. And so to be here doing a panel is like absolutely crazy. And it's, jeez, uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. I can't wait to get on the floor tomorrow and check out all the booths. I, I got a lot of booths I want to check out. And you, you can still do it now because people still don't know who you are. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of nice to go to the show. You know, I mean, the show's just there, and it's kind of nice to be able to like get in on, like under the radar a little bit. I don't need to sound like that. Oh, of course. Yeah, I feel that. Do you feel some kind of pressure for all the legacy of the franchise? Definitely. I think we all do. I mean, it's, it's not so much a like a scary kind of pressure because the community at large that loves the movie so much they're surprisingly so supportive of anything that comes out they just love that world and, and the mystery of it all and so we feel a lot of support and it's it's one of those things where it's such a sense of reverence for the movies and, and for the slasher genre in general and, uh, it's just like we're always coming on the set so grateful that we get to add to the history of the movies you know? what was it like filming that swimming scene that swimming scene was sort of dude it was, it was crazy. It was scary. Yeah, that was a scary scene. And you know, the, the stunt rig was like a rope that was attached to my ankle. And it was literally some guy like pulling me down every time. And I kept thinking like, if someone didn't like me, they could have just kept me down there. That would be the end. So well, I think it's you. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's uh, you can't trust anyone on this show. No one's and selling. And the smearing at the end of that person. Yeah, that looked pretty, uh, pretty incriminating. I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. Let's see. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Great shirt. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>